In this video, I'll take you through how to use Facebook Messenger Rooms. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk where related blog posts is also available. Facebook have now launched their very own group video chat, Messenger Rooms, to rival with the likes of Zoom and House Party. With many people stuck indoors but wanting some face-to-face -face interaction with their friends, family or work colleagues, group video calling and conferencing services and platforms have really increased in popularity, with the likes of Zoom attracting 300 million people to their meetings. And Facebook are the next to try and compete within this space alongside Zoom and House Party. Messenger Rooms allows Facebook members to create public or private video chat rooms which will have up to 50 people. But unlike Zoom, who only give you 40 minutes on their free plan, your time is completely unlimited and free of charge too. So let's jump straight into how to create a Messenger Room. Well, Facebook users can create and discover rooms from either Facebook or Messenger. So I'll be creating the room on my desktop today and joining using a mobile phone but you'll also be able to create rooms from your mobile apps too, just as long as you have the latest versions. And your version of Facebook may look slightly different to mine, depending on when you're watching this video. But from my newsfeed, I can create a room here. Then if we click onto the eye icon in the top right hand side here, it will give you a bit of information about how the rooms work. So first of all, it tells you about the room visibility. When you create a room on Facebook, you control who sees your room in the newsfeed by choosing who to invite. And I'm gonna show you that in a moment. Then your room has a link that you can share with the people you invite. You can also choose to let anyone join with the link, including people who aren't your friends and those who don't have Facebook or Messenger. And you have to be in your room for others to be able to join. And you can always lock your room if you don't want new people to join too. Again, I'll show you that in a moment. But if I just go back, the first thing you wanna do is set up your room activity. So from here, you have loads of different options. You have the likes of bored at home, happy hours, you have games nights and dance parties, but for the moment, I'm just gonna choose coffee chat. Then you can choose who's invited. So from here, you can select all of your friends. So like house party, messenger rooms will let people drop in and out of video chats while the room is open. And there'll be publicly discoverable rooms too, which will be listed at the top of the Facebook newsfeed. Or if you want something a little bit more private, you can choose to invite specific friends. For the moment, I'm just gonna choose all my friends. And then if I click on to save, and as it states here, friends will be able to see your room at the top of the newsfeed and can join from there. I can then just go ahead and create my room. So if it's open to all of your friends, you can tell specific friends about it and encourage them to join. Or if we go back, so that was invite, but you can also copy a link for your friends. You can edit a room too. So if I go through and choose who is invited again, I can then send this to a specific friend. Or I can choose to skip the step and invite others by sharing the link. And I'll wanna turn on link sharing if I skip that step. And then I can click on to join. and your image will then appear in the bottom right hand side of your screen. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna turn off my video and mute the mic for the moment. And then if we head over to the top left and just take a look at the privacy. Now, if you are concerned about your privacy, one thing to be aware of is the fact that these rooms are encrypted, but they're not end to end encrypted. And they stated that they hope to add this in the future but Facebook are saying they will not listen in on any videos nor monitor them. However, they'll still gather data on when users open a messenger room, which they've said will be used to improve the product and the overall Facebook experience. So how does Messenger protect your privacy? Well, they state here that the room links are unique and can be regenerated at any time. You can prevent unwanted participants by locking your room, which I'm gonna show you in a moment and you can block people so you can block anyone in a room on Facebook and Messenger. And anyone in the room can give feedback on the room. 
So let's come out of here and take a look at the settings in the top right hand corner here. Then from here you can change your camera, so if you have an external camera, you could use that from here. You can change your microphone too. You can play around with the audio outputs. And you can also check out some of the keyboard shortcuts too. Now if we just join as a participant using a mobile. So over on my mobile, I've just received the invite, and if you click onto that, you can join using your Facebook account or you'll be taken to a guest login page where you can enter in your name and join as a guest. And when you're over on your mobile, you'll be able to create virtual backgrounds by clicking on the screen here. You can also use effects and change the lighting to brighten a room. And you also have standard call options like reversing the camera and stopping the camera. You can take a photo of the call Plus, you can share the link with others or mute the mic. Then just heading back to the desktop. So once someone has entered the room, you can view their Facebook profile. And Messenger Rooms does not have a chat function, but you can send participants a message and Messenger will then open up in a new tab or window. And you also have the ability to remove someone from the chat too. Then at the bottom of the screen here, you can share your screen. So you can share your entire screen, an application window, or a specific Chrome tab. And if you wanted to share part of your screen, all you need to do is click onto that, and then click onto share. And it may then request permission to share your screen. You can also click onto see call participants. And from here is where you can lock the room. So if you want to prevent anyone else from joining once your participants have joined, you can simply lock the room. It will then ask you whether or not you want to confirm that and you can click onto lock. You can also invite people so you can share your link here. And if we go into settings, from here is really important and this is where you want to end your room. If you simply hang up using the red button at the bottom here saying leave room, the room will continue. However, you will no longer be in it. So you'll want to go ahead and end room and remove all members and disable your link once the chat is finished. It'll then ask you if you're sure you want to end the room and it'll state that this will remove all members from the call and disable the link and it can't be reused. So I'm going to go ahead and end the room. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use and it's great the fact that you can add so many different people into your chats and the fact that it's not time limited either. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.